Time to start our riot with the Spider-Man movie rankings. There aren't that many Sp meh Spidey movies to me, but let's just get them out of the way. First, Morbius. Just reminds me of Dylan Brooks as an NBA player. Not worth noting. Next, Venom. Just reminds me of Rudy Gobert. Only memorable for one thing, rim protection. But that doesn't work when he ain't protecting his own teammates, but punching them. Bro got the Venom in him. Thinks he's Eminem in this. And then there's Venom 2, which is, you know, cheesy funny. It's short, so it doesn't overstay its welcome, but it's not that enjoyable. It's like Patrick Beverly on the Lakers. I'm so surprised that even happened this year. Next is Tasm 2, which reminds me of Jordan Poole, because it's so flashy, and it's so fun to watch at times, visually, but sometimes it gets just gets too flashy to a point where it becomes a bad thing. Especially when Clay or Curry wide open Poole. Come on, man, you're drowning out there. Just pass the ball. Far From Home, which is a whatever movie to me, honestly. Mysterio was the only good part. Reminds me of the 2023 Portland Trailblazers, where Damian Lillard being awesome was the only good thing about that team. Moving on to the awesome Spider-Man films. Starting off is Spider-Man 3, which is a pretty flawed film, won't lie. But it's also one of the funniest surreal films out there. Reminds me of Nikola Jokic during his press conferences. Bro is so funny for no reason. And then there's Tyson 1, which, which is visually spectacular and... Andrew and Emma really carry this film. It's like Luke and Kyrie. And, and then there's Spider-Man 1, which is so cheesy and iconic. Just reminds you of all the LeBron James memes. All of them. And then there's No Way Home, which was such a very high-risk, high-reward type of film. Reminds me of Toronto trading for Kawhi Leonard. He was a huge risk bringing Kawhi to Toronto with no guarantee he'd stay. And he really didn't stay. But he still led them to their first chip in Canada, so... They still won that thing. And then there's Homecoming, which is, which has such a great villain, has such a great Spidey, and the humor really works here. Just reminds me of Jimmy Butler, because it's not really a flashy Spider-Man film, but it gets the job done. And then there's Into the Spider-Verse, which is visually spectacular, charming, brutal, and just reminded me of Cleveland Cavaliers Kyrie. Everything was awesome about him, except if you're a 2016 Warrior fan. And then there's Across the Spider-Verse, which is even more visually awesome, mature, and reminds me of 2019 OKC Paul George. It was MVP candidate Paul George. It was a really fun player to watch, even though he really didn't have the best ending, getting sent home by Dame like that. And finally, is my favorite Spider-Man film, Spider-Man 2. This film hits for me on, on a different level. It reminds me of my favorite player, Giannis. And... I mean, like, how can you hate this film? This film is just so... I just love it so much. I could write a whole essay about this film. I'd probably never stop.